Hey, this is Adam with Tech Type AV Club. I've got my video on draft right now, which is why it looks so blurry. Don't worry, it's gonna get pretty against shortly. But um, I wanted to give you some time-saving tips. And so these are more workflow things, how to save time with short form kind of content like this. Long form content, it's gonna be different. Also some ways to make sure that you're not saving too much time. Every mistake I've ever made not everyone, but probably 95% of the editing mistakes I've made is saying something's done before it's done and uploading it and having that surprisingly be the video that gets 100,000 views and then realizing that it's just edited like crap and I've got my name on the line and then it's all right, it's too late. Um, so that's that's one of the concerns I have. Uh, I've got this on draft right now because uh, this this shot's particularly taxing on my computer right now. So this is a way you can one speed up your workflow by just not worrying about the super pretty shots yet. But two, before you get started on that, you can worry about the super pretty shot for a minute. Um, so I don't have any B-roll yet. This is just a shot here, and I have a lot of concerns about the shot. I don't have my lighting kit unpacked yet. Uh, we just recently moved. This video is dark. It's not very sharp. Um, I've done a few corrections on this thing already. Um, you can see I've got a color grading uh, where I've just brightened it up because it was really dark. Because of the kind of content it is, I don't have to worry too much about if it can get like pristine perfect, but uh, I just need it presentable. And so uh, I clean it up and I add it to the entire clip. Uh, you can do it on a track too. Um, um, but the entire trick cl clip or the entire track clean it up just a little bit see how it looks see if you want to refilm it see how you feel about the footage the next thing i do is i don't worry about b-roll yet um, you can break things up into pieces you don't have to film on your b-roll first or maybe you have a bunch of b-roll filmed i'm going to film mine later because there's some that i might not even need to film because i don't know if the thing i mentioned that i would need b-roll for i don't know if that's going to be in the final cut so if it's not going to be in the final cut why would I spend my time getting B-Real for it? I don't have a lot of time to just get B-Real for things that I don't need. That really brings me to point three. Edit to content first. The first thing I'm gonna do is probably just mute the video and just edit the audio. Because especially for this content, right now, now there's lots and lots of things that have more like you're showing something. And so like you would need to see the video if you're like trying to demonstrate like, uh, like a science thing and you're trying to demonstrate if something falls too fast or whatever. For the most part, unless you're telling a visual story of some point, uh, which you, you ought to be in some way if in a video, um, the rest of what you're doing is audio. And audio will carry a listener very far. Uh, a good story will really capture somebody even with lackluster footage like I have here. So the first thing I'm going to do is try to make something worth listening to uh, because a podcast, people will listen to a podcast. Silent movies aren't silent by the way. Um, the original silent movies had lots of like sound effects and stuff people do live. The preserved sound uh, uh, silent movies still have sound. They have music playing <laughs> the entire time. Why? Because sound's important. So edit your audio, edit your content. What's going to happen? Worry about your story beats. Do you have a visual storytelling thing going on? Worry about if that works. Worry about um, setting up the beginning. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut all the crap I don't need out. Um, because if I listen to something and I know that I'm never ever going to say that, it's a blooper, it's whatever, I cut it out. And you know what? If that's cut now, the second I see it, I cut it out. I don't worry about anything else. I just go through and I watch the entire video. Resist the urge to speed up and watch it unless you're actually super in a hurry um, because the real pacing people are going to watch it is important. So if, it's, if you have to watch it faster, they're not going to want to watch it at all. Um, so watch it at the pace it is. Listen to the entire thing. Don't assume you know what's going on because when I skip over a section, when I'm like, this section's fine, and I skip over it and I edit it over here, not okay. What usually ends up happening is that part of the video has a mistake in it and I didn't catch it because I was too much in a hurry. Uh, and that wastes my time more. Uh, so watch the entire thing, cut out every single thing you don't want, and then put it in the order you want it. Do you say one thing over here and you want to say it sooner? Swap it around. Non-linear editor, you can do whatever you want. Um, do you mention something and you realize that it's not important? Get rid of it. 
figure out that you need to change your shot to add something else to get more b-rail than you were originally planning uh, usually what i find out is i need less b-rail than i originally planned uh, and then you can also know places where you might surprise B-Rail is like, oh, you had a mistake and you don't want to refilm the whole thing. And so there's a weird jump cut that just looks bad, like not even like a YouTube style jump cut, like just something that just doesn't look good the way it's cut. You can cover that up. Go get some B-Rail to cover that up. You didn't know you needed that until the content was edited. So once the content's edited, get the b-reel i usually just create a new track and i just drop the b-reel over top of it make sure that the aspect ratio is match just drop the b-reel over top of it just the way it is every time i want to cover something up and so then you'll know that you present a good sound story you present a good visual story between your b-reel and um you know your primary shot your primary shot is savable correctable um and then you can do the fluff kind of stuff the last thing i always do is like um adding in crazy like a special effects to an intro or doing some kind of special transition that show that like has shot matching right so <laughs> my video is still muted there's a reason why it takes you so long to edit because a lot of times what people don't they don't have a plan going into it they just slowly watch it and cut watch and cut watch and cut they have b-roll they're trying to add in they're trying to craft something from the ground up and really to do that to properly craft something from the ground up you need to just make sure that you have like audio worth listening to all the bad crap cut out a video that goes with it your visual storytelling if that's what you're doing if there's some kind of visual non-audio piece that needs to be like pristinely cut next um or first depending on what's more primary and then drop in your b-roll on top to clean up the cuts you're gonna edit so much faster thanks for watching like this video if it helped you out subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one i will see you next time